This is your host, Dub FFG, with the Fantasy Football GOAT Strategies. How are you doing today? Today, we're talking about the top five fantasy football wide receivers for 2022. Let's get to it. First up, we're looking at Jamal Chase. Jamal Chase is a big athletic receiver. He's big time. He showed you that last year in his rookie season, and he should continue with so in 2022. In 2022, we're looking for him to get about 1,250 yards receiving, 11 touchdowns, and 85 receptions. This is similar to the numbers he had last year. He also ended up the season as the fifth-ranked wide receiver in fantasy football, so he pretty much is going to be the same numbers because the Bengals are not going to sneak up on people this year like they did last year. They're going to face tougher opponents, so defense is going to scheme a little bit better for them, but Jamar Chase will still have a top-five fantasy football receiving year. Next up, Cooper Cup. Now, Cooper Cup is in a similar situation to Jamar Chase because both receivers were in the Super Bowl last year and both teams kind of snuck up on teams last year as well. So, Cooper Cup in 2021 finished first for fantasy football wide receivers. So, in 2022, we're looking for him to get around 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, and 120 yards receiving. Plus, his quarterback, Matthew Stafford, has been dealing with an injury on his throwing arm, tennis elbow. And if anybody knows anything about tennis elbow, you know the best solution to that or the best treatment for that is rest, simple rest. And the season is coming up, so Matthew Stafford is not going to have any time to rest. So he may have some lingering problems throughout the season, and that will affect Cooper Cup's fantasy output. So we're looking for him to be number four this year versus where he was last year at number one. Next up, Tyreek Hill. Now, Tyreek Hill is in a new offense with a new system and a new quarterback, but he will have an awesome fantasy year because he will be force-fed in Miami, and his quarterback is also looking to prove himself. But he's also a great compliment to Jalen Waddle. Like Waddle, Hill can also take a simple screen pass and take it 70, 80, 90 yards for a touchdown. That's awesome, and that's going to come into play this year. So they both complement each other, and within that offense, with a great, with a good tight end and with a good running back, those guys should flourish. So just as we see Hill in this position at number three, you could also make an argument that Waddle would be in this position at number three. In 2022, we're looking at 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 120 yards receiving. Next up is Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams also in a new system, a new team, and a new quarterback. He finished second in 2021, and we're looking for him to do pretty much the same in 2022. Even though with a different quarterback and different system, the system that he's in is structured much better than the system was in Green Bay. Because he has a great tight end with himself, Hunter Renfro, and Josh Jacobs, and Derek Carr. This is overall is structured much better than it was in Green Bay. So in 2022, we're looking at around 1,400 yards receiving, 13 touchdowns, and 120 catches. At number one, we have Justin Jefferson. In 2021, he finished fourth. And this year, we're looking for him to finish first because we're looking for the Vikings to take over that division away from the Packers. So in order for them to do so, Justin Jefferson, as well as Dalvin Cook, is going to have to be big. And Justin Jefferson will fill those shoes. We're projecting him to get 1,600 yards receiving, 15 touchdowns, and 135 catches. Again, Justin Jefferson has a great outlook for this season and he should finish as the number one fantasy football receiver for 2022. Just to recap, these are the top five fantasy football wide receivers for 2022. We're looking at Jamar Chase, Cooper Cup, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, and Justin Jefferson. These are our projections according to Fantasy Football Ghost Strategies, and we look forward to seeing you in the season. Thank you for listening. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Till next time. Hey, it's football season. And watch your favorite team with Sling TV. No contracts, all streaming. Watch your favorite program starting as low as $35 per month. Yeah, that's right. $35 per month. Click the link in the description and get started enjoying your favorite programs and watching your favorite team with Sling TV.